Hey everybody, welcome back to Pretty Things Rock. In this edition, what I'm going to be doing is a comparison of nail soaker versus the foil wrap to remove glitter nail polish. As you can see, I have some chips here and that's from doing so much housework that it just finally started chipping off. It's not that the nail polish is cheap, it isn't. It's pretty good quality, I really like it. Anyway, so this is a comparison with the nail soakers, which I'm sure everyone has seen from eBay. They're about $4, less than $4. And foil paper, foil paper. They sell the cheap foil paper at the dollar store, so you don't have to be buying the Reynolds, it costs more. And what we're gonna be doing, or what I'm going to be doing, is I'm going to be comparing the nail soaker with foil paper. I'm going to be using this cotton square. I also have this one so I can use either one but as you can see one's thicker than the other. I don't remember if this was a cheaper one or not but this one's like I said thinner. Um, and foil. And before I did that I just put some um, cuticle oil um, on my nails because I'm going to be using nail polish remover and I just don't want it to be more damaging than everything else is that I use. I'm just using your regular household um, nail polish remover that you can get like at the dollar store or at the supermarket, whatever. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill this up with the same amount that I'm going to put on this little um, cotton pad just to see which one is going to hold more. And what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to cut it in four because I really only want to cover the nail bed, the, the whole nail, so I don't need a whole lot. And I want to get on the sides too sometimes because that's that's trouble spot. So you can either cut it in fours and just put it like that, which is what I'm going to do. And try it like that. Whoops. And cut this one again. Like that. Using scissors. Duh. And I'm going to fill this up with nail polish remover. I'm using my eyedropper because I'm such a messy person. I'm trying to get it so it's about... Okay. You can see how much I have. It's right up to here. I don't know if you can see it or not. I'm going to put that in here. Which you can see is not very much. It barely goes up to here. And that's kind of discouraging. So obviously I'm going to have to use more. So I'm going to put the same amount. Whoops, I have the same amount. In here on this little cotton swab. Soak it up. I'm going to put it on my finger and I'm going to wrap it with this foil nice and tight so all the liquid stays in there. I can feel it squeezing out already too. So really the same amount that I put in here I put in here and I had some of it coming out obviously because of the um, leakage but apparently I'm going to have to use more on this little soaker. So let's see how many more I have. That's two. That's three about three full droppers. I'm going to cap it. Make sure I get that in there. Okay, and I'm going to stick my index finger in here. And there is a little leakage going on. I could feel it on the sides. But you can see my finger's in there and it's soaked. I'm going to keep it like this for a couple of minutes, maybe about two minutes. It's 145 and um, we'll see what the result is. And from what you've seen, I put three of these opposed to one for the foil. And right now, so far, I'm liking the foil because I'm using less nail polish. Um, <clears throat> and I like that. So I'll be back as soon as my two minutes are up. Okay, I'm back. It was more than two minutes. I actually got distracted. That happens a lot with me and it's been about five or six minutes so I'm going to take out 
this one first and as you can see there is still some glitter nail polish on there that has not cotton came off and I even wiped it and there's still some there it did take a couple of layers off so I'm thinking because I took I put like three or four coats of nail polish that it would probably take longer than two or three minutes I would probably say ten minutes I used this nail polish pinky glitter and it does come on really thick so that might be why it took so long and then here we have the other one which this is still soaked and let's wipe it and you can see that that one came off a lot more than this one which was which I used the soaker in and I just used a foil and one of these filled and with this one I used three and I still have a lot of liquid left in there so I think in the end personally in my opinion I would go with the foil wrap system rather than the soaker the soaker would probably be good for acrylics but not for nail polish especially if you put really thick coats on so that's my conclusion I hope this was helpful there have been other people that have used different things such as using felt which I think that probably would not work um, another person used um, a nail file they they soaked it for a while and then they used nail file to take off some of it I don't think that's a good idea some people have used pure acetone which this um <clears throat> this nail polish is nail polish remover but it doesn't specify yeah it says acetone in here but I don't know if it's pure acetone because it doesn't state it on the bottle but I wouldn't use pure acetone either for um, acrylics I would but not for nail polish and like I said I put some um, I put some tape I mean not tape um, oil around my nails before I did this because I didn't want that much damage done to it and also one other way that a person said um, they did it is they used a cotton ball, a really big cotton ball. They soaked it and they used regular scotch tape. And personally I don't think that's a good idea because that's going to dry up. The whole point of the foil is, is to contain it and not have it dry up on you. That's why you use the foil, which I think is probably the best system to do. And um, that is my opinion again, and I'm sorry I already said that once, but... I go all over the place with this. But that's all for this, and I hope this was helpful, and um, I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.